I am now live. All right, so let's try this. I am out in the woods. Let's see, can I change my camera around? Switch down, stop, double tap to flip. Oh, hi. Hey, so I am out in the woods. It was finally a beautiful day. Um, so I can get out here and taking a little break from work to get out to see what's here to eat in the woods right now. Um, I'm seeing a lot of really yummy greens, um, a lot of early spring greens. So um, let's take a look and take you along in my little my little journey here. Um, so right here, what you're seeing with the yellow flowers, this is called lesser celandine. Uh, you can eat the greens. I believe you need to boil them first. Um, I've not yet tried it, so I might take some of those home with me. Um, there's some right down here that are easy to reach, so I might I might take some of these home with me and see about to do a little more research first. Um, looks like something's been munching the flowers. Um, we'll see if I can cook some of those up and see how they taste. Want to come home? Yes, come on. Let's see, there we go. Get a few of them there. Show you. Uh, so you can take some of those. Um, and right over here, actually, this is um, mustard, wild mustard, and garlic mustard. Um, and this is actually delicious. Um, I like to grab the, to grab it right now when it's got the, uh, looks like the little buds coming in here. It looks similar to broccoli. Um, and it tastes kind of similar too. So I like to pinch off, I like to pinch off the heads here. And I'm gonna take some of those home with me as well. Oh, they smell really good and garlicky and mustardy. Mmm. So I'm gonna grab a few of these. And I will put them in my bag along with the celandine. I got my bag over here. Oops. So I already have some garlic mustard and some chickweed in there, but I need to find some more. So let's see what else we can find out here in the woods. See the, um, the May apples are popping up with their little umbrellas all through the woods here. Uh, the May apples, when they fruit, they will, uh, you can actually eat the fruits of them and they're, uh, they're actually really good. Gonna come through here. And lots and lots of celandine here. Let's come back on to our path. Now, I'm trying to remember along one of these paths, there's a really nice patch of chickweed. I think it was in here. So let's see. Let's go find some good chickweed. I found some beautiful chickweed in these woods. Um, the stuff that I was used to harvesting um, at my old house was, um, was very tiny. The leaves were very small compared to what I've been finding in these woods. Um, oh, here's some uh, here's some field garlic right here. You can see that. I already have some of this at home, but if you this this stuff's kind of small, but um, you can use this the way you would any garlic or chives. Um, it's delicious. I like to just snip it up and use it like I would chives. 
Um, and if you pull it out, it's got the little bulbs that you can then use just like you would garlic. Uh, you find it a lot in fields as well, which is why it's called field garlic. Uh, let's see here. Oh, the cell Indians just taking over everything. Um, just some more, uh, just some more garlic mustard down here. And this will get um, little white and yellow flowers pretty soon here. Let me pick some of the, the heads off these guys. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Steph. I wonder if it's because of my connection. Steph says it's pixelated. So I will try walking slower. This is only my second periscope, so I'm giving it a try. Hopefully, uh, the action isn't too slow. Ooh, here's some, I see a little bit of chickweed in here. It's all uh, growing in amongst the celandine. Um, as you can see, so this is all celandine and I think there's even some violets in here. Um, so here, this is actually chickweed right here. Let's see, hopefully it's not too blurry. I'll pick that and the reason I know that this is chickweed and not uh, its poisonous look alike which is called spotted spurge is that it has a little line of um, soft fuzzy hairs along the one side and um, the stem is actually you can't really see it here but the stem is kind of hollow um, with the poisonous one that looks very similar to it um, that one actually exudes a milky sap when you break off the stem. So that's how you know not to eat it. If, it. if it looks like chickweed, but it has a milky sap, then don't eat it. It will give you a really bad stomach ache. I'll keep going through the woods here. I'm gonna eat this little chickweed, actually. This stuff is really good. It tastes like lettuce. Um, oh, so I'm in the woods, um, I'm in Pennsylvania, um, near Douglasville, PA. So, um, ooh, found some really nice violets. Now see here, these are some really pretty violets. Uh, and these are actually edible as well. Um, they're just a really nice little addition to salads, or um, you, can, you can actually make a little syrup out of them if you can make a simple syrup. Um, to use in cocktails. Um, they have kind of a very light, I'm eating one, it's a very light flavor. A little, little peppery. Um, but they, they add a nice little um, texture and flavor to salads. Uh, they look really pretty on baked goods. Um, hmm, some little plants there. See if I can find a good patch of chickweed here yet. Yes, I have salad in my backyard. It's delicious. I pretty much just call the woods my salad bar. I'm going to come back here and munch. Let's see. I'm looking for a good patch of chickweed. Ooh, here's some. It's actually a tiny patch, but it's it's a pretty nice little patch to take a look at. So again, you're going to see a lot of celandine in here. Um, but right here, this, ooh, this is chickweed. Um, so what I like to do is um, I only pick up, like the I pinch off the top little bud. Um, so I pinch off about this much and uh, that's what I take. I just take a bunch of the little the little buds um, and use them in my salad and then they will actually regrow themselves 
uh, like the plant here, since I'm not taking a lot of it, uh, it'll, it'll keep growing for a long time, um, all through the season. So I can come back and harvest more from it later. Uh, here's another one over here. This one's got a flower on it. See, it's a little white flower again. A little blurry here, hard to see. Sorry about the bad connection. Um, I'm gonna pinch off the tops over here. And uh, I'm gonna add all of these to my, to my foraging bag. And now uh, one more note, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the broadcast here. Um, but one more note. Earlier, while I was out and about uh, in the fields, I found this little guy. Uh, this is a daylily. Um, so, oh, I will show you my foraging bag then, Steph. Uh, so this is a daylily, and um, certain daylilies are edible, and certain ones are poisonous. So I pulled this little specimen up to take him home and do a little more research. Um, the greens, when they're nice and small and young in the spring, they're edible. Uh, they're supposed to be really good, uh, cooked up in some butter. And then the tubers here um, can actually, with the non-poisonous varieties, you can eat them raw or you can uh, cook them kind of like you would potatoes. So they're not very big but they're like almost like a little fingerling potato kind of thing. You can roast them, um, put them in garlic and butter. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little more research on this guy here. And then um, if he's good to eat, I'm gonna try him. And if I don't get sick, <laughs> uh, I'll go back and get some more because there's a ton of them in the woods right now. Uh, they're just everywhere. Um, all right, so Steph wanted to see my foraging bag. And really, all I have right now is this, this little canvas tote that I can uh, throw over my shoulders. And uh, inside right now, I have, oops, you can see I've got some garlic mustard and I've got some um, chickweed in there. So I'm going to do a little bit more foraging and see what else I can find out here. But this'll this will do me pretty well for uh, some some supper tonight. Get, get some good greens for this for supper. So Alright, thank you for watching. Uh, again, this is the gluten-free hack. And I am foraging for food in the woods of Douglasville. See you all later.